Historically, humanity has used the ocean as a dumping ground for waste. As a result, marine debris pollutes the world ocean. The Algalita Marine Research Foundation has been studying plastic debris in the Pacific Ocean since 1995. On a scientific voyage into the North Pacific Central Gyre in 1999, Algalita researchers found six times more plastic than zooplankton by weight. Within the Southern Atlantic Ocean, for example, densities of marine debris increased 100-fold in the 1990s. Studies in the coastal waters of Japan indicate that plastic in the marine environment has increased 10 times every two to three years during the past decade. Studies of marine debris on beaches, the sea floor, and surface waters indicate that the composition of marine debris ranges from 60 to 80 percent plastic worldwide. Because it is lightweight, floating plastic travels ocean currents around the world and can litter beaches far from the point of origin. Turtles, fish, and birds all confuse marine litter for food. The short-term effects of ingestion for these species can include suffocation and starvation. In the long term, ingestion of plastic can suppress immune systems and cause low reproductive rates. People used to generate, back in the 1960s, about 2.68 pounds of uh, waste on a daily basis. Um, in the 1990s, at the national level, we see that a person produces about 4.45 pounds of waste on a daily basis. That's a 66% increase since 1960. And that is pretty challenging for all of us, and certainly for our board. We need to do everything we can so that people at the individual level reduce the amount of waste that they generate. 80% of the marine debris is from land sources. We're the problem. It's our litter that's creating the problem. We have an excess of packaging in the society. The things that we buy at the grocery store, at the fast food outlet, um, you know, clothes shopping, toy shopping, whatever it is, it is loaded with layer upon layer of packaging. Oftentimes, it's non-degradable, non-recyclable plastic packaging. And the problem is that um, consumers get stuck with this whether they want it or not. The challenge for us is to find a way to ensure that all of these plastics do not end up in the water stream. We cannot have plastics in the marine environment. One of the main things that individuals and the general public can do is to educate businesses and manufacturers about the effect of all these disposable products on our environment. Certainly one element of the litter problem is the public littering, whether advertently or inadvertently. A bigger component of the problem is the excess amount of trash and waste that we have in our society. And the big picture solution to reducing packaging and plastic waste in the marine environment is reducing the total volume of plastic packaging and waste in general in our society. Manufacturers need to take responsibility for their products. We're not going to solve this problem until manufacturers start helping out. The bag-to-bag -bag program started with a, uh, an effort to establish a curbside program early in 2005, and the program, still in its infancy, has collected 17,000 pounds of plastic bags. In addition, the City of Los Angeles has established a curbside program for residents. Uh, this was established on their own, and that program uh, has brought back over 80,000 pounds of bags. These programs, along with programs that our customers are developing, are teaching the public to bring back bags and to, uh, to be more effective in reusing this product, not only to put back into bags, but this material will also go back into durable goods. The market for recycled material today is very, very strong. 
manufacturers can't get enough of this material to expand their markets. And so the demand is there for it, and if we can educate the public to bring this material back through these various programs that have been established, every pound that we use is a pound that does not get it into the environment and out into marine life. International Coastal Cleanup has been going on since 1986, the largest marine-related volunteer event in the world. We had 50,737 people turn out this year, and they picked up just under 910,000 pounds of trash. It's the biggest event we've ever held, by far. California, all by itself, accounts for anywhere from 10 to 12 percent of the worldwide totals for both volunteers and trash picked up. Six of our top 10 most commonly found items are made of plastic. So we're looking at just an enormous bulk of plastic material. There is no way we are going to stop the amount of trash that's hitting our beaches unless people themselves reduce the amount of trash they're creating in the first place. This needs to be part of lifetime education. There is no way to impact this in the long run until you create a constituency that understands the impacts of marine debris and really wants to do something about it.